everybody this is Bonnie from Bonnie's Creative Place and I am here with our Garden Meadow online class for November 2023 and let's get started this is card number three okay let's get that little set out of the way now I've done some coloring and stamping already ahead of time I'll tell you the colors and stuff that I used but I just wanted to let you know that I already did a lot of coloring and stamping ahead of time for this card. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your basic white and you are going to fold it in half. You can pre-score it if you want. Line it up, fold it in half, and then crease it, and then give it a very good score. Okay, there we go. I don't need that right now at all. All right, now what we're going to do is we are going to cut down our DSP paper. And for this piece, we need this deep, de de I can talk. We need this DSP piece to be five and an eighth by three and seven eighths. So you have to decide like I decided that I kind of wanted the path in the card so you kind of have to decide what you want in your card and what you don't want in your card so actually I just decided to use most of this half of the card in my photo so I'm going to cut this at the three and seven eighths so three and seven eighths is if you go all the way to the four and go back to tick marks so right there so I am just gonna cut this right off so now I have my three and seven eighths now I've got this is just extra you can use it for what you would like now I gotta decide how much of the top or the bottom what do I want more of well I wanted more of this tree in the sky so I decided I'm gonna cut from the bottom so I'm gonna turn this and I've got to cut this at uh, five and an eighth so to cut this at five and an eighth, you have to go two tick marks over from the five. So you got the five, one, two, and then we're gonna cut it. And then I'm gonna cut this little bit off. And so we do not need this piece. Now this is the piece that we're left with and this is the piece that we're gonna use. So now we can set that piece aside. Now we have this piece of um, cardstock and this piece measures five and a quarter by four so it's just a hair smaller this is just a hair smaller than this piece when you put it on here it's just a little bit smaller all the way around it okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to get our dies out and we're going to get this piece right here now, if I'm gonna put this piece right on, just like this, and I'm gonna die cut this right out. So I'm gonna eyeball center it, kind of like that. I'm gonna get some post-it note tape. I have a link to this in the description box below if you would like to purchase it from me. I'm supposed to get a little kickback, but I don't know either I don't have enough people ordering it because I've never gotten anything back from it so but it's there if it's something you want to I don't know if I have to sell so many or whatever but I just wanted to have it there for you guys to know where I get it I ordered it off from Amazon all right now we're gonna die cut this out so we're gonna put this on platform one platform two and then a platform three and another platform three and you're going to run it through your embossing machine I'm going to run it through my electric machine okay. and then we're going to Take this off from here and this piece you can save for another card or whatever that you would like so now what we're going to do is we are going to remove all the platforms except for platform one and we're going to get the embossing folder here that I have if I could pick it up and we it's it's called 
Exposed Brick 3D is what this one is. And we're going to open it up and we're going to lay this in here. So it's just like this, I believe. Yes, and I lined it up. You can line it up with, the front is the one with the stamping up sign. The back is the one with the little um, label that's on the back. And if you want this to be straight, you take it and put it in here and you kind of hold it. And there's a little line that goes all the way across here. And if you try and line that up with that, it gets it straight. I don't worry about it being perfect, but I try to line it up the best I can there. Okay, and then we're going to put platform one. We're going to put down our embossing folder with our paper, and then we're going to put platform four, which is the gray pet, and we're going to run it through your machine. And then it's going to come out looking like this. Okay. So now we're going to put this together. We're going to go ahead and we are going to put this on top of here. And I wanted this to have a little bit of a dimension, so I added stamp and dimensionals to the back of this card. So I'm going to need uh, some dimensionals. They have quite a few, well, I've got quite a few of these that need to be kind of used up, so we'll just go ahead and use all these up. i got some on this one. Okay. So we're going to put one definitely in every corner. Okay. Like that. And then we'll take some of this strip the long strip and we'll put it along the top here like that get another long piece put some along here this one over in the corner since I don't have another corner piece there. Okay, so that looks good. And then we're just going to peel all this off. Get my little container here. Oh, I guess I took that one off and didn't even realize it. I'm trying to peel something off that won't come off. <laughs> This one, there we go. One more, okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and line this up right over top of this. Just like so, okay. So now we have that right there. Alright. Then we're going to go ahead and we are going to take our snail adhesive and we're going to go ahead and uh, put some snail on the back of this. And now we're going to line this up on the center of this. Just like so. I think these make great like 
hello, thank you, birthday cards, those types of cards to me. Now I went ahead, like I said, and I did a lot of pre-stamping. You're going to get a piece of white paper. I just used some scrap that I had. And you're going to stamp two flowers. And you're going to stamp the little birds. And you're going to stamp the greeting on there. Um, the birds, all I did was took light crumb cake and colored them in with light crumb cake blend and just colored in the grass, kept it very simple. With the flowers, all I did, I did them both the exact same way. I colored one with the lemon lolly um, dark and then I colored the other one with uh, melon mango luck light and then I colored the leaves with old olive light and dark and I did two of them and I did them both the same and so now all I'm going to do is I'm going to put these right here so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive on the side of this one and I'm going to add it to the card kind of kind of overlapping a little bit here like that. Well, I overlapped a little too much, I guess. Did I, I overlap that much with that one? I don't feel like I did. <laughs> okay. So like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little dimensional right up here. Just a little bit because that part of the card over on this side will be inside here. So I'm going to add a little bit of dimensional there and then I'm just going to use my snail and add some of that to the card. And then I'm just going to place this right here in this corner and then that gives it the height that it needs and I added it right there. Now my little birds, I'm just going to add a little bit of snail to the back of them or liquid glue, whatever whatever you want to have them stick down or my little birds and I just sat them like they're right here in the little uh, driveway or pathway just eating or walking I just put them there then I am going to take the hello and I'm gonna fussy cut this out again if you don't like to fussy cut you can use the oval punch you can use whatever you want I just I like to fussy cut especially greetings. And I don't feel like it takes a long time to fussy cut the greetings as it does like if you're fussy cutting a character or something or a stamp set out. Okay, so I have that. So on this side, on the uh, right hand side of the card you're going to take and you're going to add some um, a dimensional and on the right side to turn this around here if it'll stop sticking to me we're going to add maybe <laughs> There we go. We're going to add a little bit of snail. Seems like I have more trouble when I'm trying to work in small spots with that. And then we're just going to put the H on the little gray part and we're going to put the rest of that right down in so that evens up. So that is how we made our third card. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I will be back with card number 